So I came across a very, very interesting video. AMD just had the CES, and according to Moore's Law, Intel is getting destroyed by AMD right now at the moment, and it's just not looking good for Intel at all. I'm going to play a clip of the video of him talking specifically about it a little bit, you know, which is very, very interesting. You should listen. So I'm going to... Pause the video. Play it. What AMD revealed at CES today. Um, I'm not going to talk about Epic that much, actually. That would be the next thing most people would bring up. Uh, I have nothing really to add about what I think about AMD versus Intel server data center performance versus that old, like, Xeon Epic Mega Leak I did and the recent updates I put in that Meteor Lake video as well. Outside of those two videos... Nothing to add. Sapphire Rapids will occupy about the same niche Ice Lake X did, uh, but outside of the niches Intel was already accelerating in, and they were pretty specific niches, AMD is going to run away with performance and efficiency in data center, and I just see it only getting worse. Especially if, again, what I talked about in a recent video, Intel fails to get to Intel 4 by the end of this year and Intel 3 by the middle of next year, which they might. If they fail to do that, I have nothing to add besides what I've already said. Intel is seriously <laughs> in trouble long term, and I will start to worry about the viability of this company. In fact, that is kind of what I want to close on today here. So, you know, I'm not physically at CES, but surprise, some of my contacts, some of my sources that I talk to are people that work in this industry, and they're at CES. And I got to say that I've heard from multiple people today, multiple people who have spoken with people at the executive level of some OEM. So think, you know, HP, Dell, Acer, Lenovo. Uh, I won't say which ones, but I will say I heard from executives from two of those big companies. Uh, they sound really pessimistic about Intel moving forward. Uh, one person asked one of these executives, you know, what they thought about Intel laptops long term. And the guy basically said, who cares? It doesn't matter. Maybe Intel will be forced to make AMD CPUs in five years. That's how pessimistic people that I heard from today are, are sounding about Intel. And so, yeah, I don't know what else to say. This looks like a watershed year for AMD and a complete hurricane of a disaster for Intel. And I can't believe we're saying this, but it just seems like if Intel doesn't get their act together by the end of this year, I'm not sure we're going to really recognize them as the same company we used to think of them as just a few years from now. <laughs> when I heard that, when I saw this video, I was like, wow, just wow. I can't believe that the underdog beat uh, the top dog. Like, if you took, if you look back like five years ago, Intel was like, who's AMD? What is AMD? Who cares about AMD? They just here so we don't have a monopoly. Now it's like, uh, 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 well, uh, AMD is destroying us and uh, we have no chance. Well, uh, putting a lot of pressure on us and we have no chance. Uh, right now, the market cap between AMD and Intel are very, very, very similar. And I have a feeling that Intel will lose to AMD in market cap soon, eventually. My opinion only, not financial advice. Uh, I, I also think that the market is really bad right now and we're in a recession and there's a chance that AMD and Intel stock could fall even further. That is my opinion, but damn, that's just crazy. Like, that's just crazy. I didn't think this was possible, but it's happening. And another thing I want to point out that is extremely, extremely scary uh, is <laughs> Intel's financials. As you can see, you know, they were making $20 billion with, uh, with gross profits of $11 billion. Uh, the operational expenses were $6 billion. That was uh, in 2021 of December of 31st, right? Um, now, if you look at the earnings, it's 15 Point three billion dollars, and they are losing money. They are losing money. 
the operational the the gross profit is 6.5 billion the operational expense is six billion dollars uh they probably had to pay some dividends uh which could be canceled by the way uh you know and then they came out with an EBITDA loss of 74,000 last uh, last quarter was $800,000 of EBITDA loss so it's just not looking good for Intel at the moment they're losing money uh Intel was used to be extremely extremely profitable and now they are the now they don't look so hot they just don't look so hot uh they have a total debt on the balance sheet of 39 billion dollars that is a lot of debt uh they have a total cash balance of 22.5 billion dollars so their debt is actually higher than their cash and they're not profitable right now they're gonna probably have to cut dividends they are probably going to you know they are struggling so hard right now like so hard so bad right now i just can't believe a giant like intel is struggling i always thought intel was unstoppable they just had the market they knew what they were doing and nope amd is key came in and kicked their butt and is stealing market share and it's literally destroying the company <laughs> so who knows maybe amd one day will be like uh we don't have a monopoly we will help amd intel survive this so we don't have a monopoly if that happens i will laugh my ass off in the next five years if that was the case <laughs> anyways that's it for the video thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.